Hello, I hope you're doing well. In this new video, we're offering you a time of hypnosis to help you focus on the text and the narrator's voice. The video covers the four following topics, the origins of the English language and its relationship to other languages. What are some of the differences between British and American English? How can I improve my listening skills in English? How can I improve my speaking skills in English? First, we will guide you into a state of relaxation. Then, you will listen to the text. Finally, we will bring you back to a normal state of alertness. We hope you enjoy this experience. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos that will help you improve your English skills, including、uh, listening comprehension, grammar, and vocabulary. Enjoy this moment. Hello, welcome to this new video. I have prepared an English video for you to listen to a lesson. But before we start, I invite you to do a little introduction of five minutes to get you into a state of relaxation. This will help you to be more receptive and to enjoy the English lesson fully. Follow me carefully and let yourself be guided by my voice. First of all, make sure you are in a quiet and comfortable place where you will not be disturbed. You can sit on a chair, a sofa, or a bed. Or lie down if you prefer. The important thing is that you feel comfortable and relaxed. If you wish, you can close your eyes or keep them slightly open. Breathe deeply through your nose and exhale through your mouth slowly and regularly. Feel the air that enters and leaves your lungs and notice how your body relaxes with each exhalation. Continue to breathe like this for a few moments. And focus on the sensations of your body. Now, I'm going to ask you to release the tension from each part of your body, starting with your feet. Imagine that you send a wave of relaxation to your feet, and that you feel them become heavy and soft. Do the same with your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, your hips, your lower back, your stomach, your chest, your upper back, your shoulders, your arms. Your Your hands, your fingers, your neck, your head, your face, and your scalp. Take your time to relax each part of your body, and feel the wave of relaxation that spreads throughout your body. You are now in a state of deep relaxation, and you are ready to listen to the English lesson. I'm going to play the lesson for you, and I want you to listen carefully and try to understand as much as you can. Don't worry if you don't understand everything. Just focus on the main idea and the context. You can repeat the words or sentences that you hear, or just listen silently. The lesson is about the history of the English language and how it evolved over time. It will help you to learn more about the origins and influences of the language that you are learning. I hope you will enjoy it and learn something new. Let's start the lesson now. Okay. Let's start a lesson then. Please listen carefully and enjoy the lesson. The English language is one of the most widely spoken and influential languages in the world. It is the official language of many countries, such as the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and India. It is also used as a lingua franca, a common language for communication in many fields such as science, technology, business, and entertainment. But how did the English language come to be? What are its origins and influences? How did it change over time? 
and what is its current status and diversity in the world. These are some of the questions that we will explore in this lesson. The origins of the English language can be traced back to the Indo-European language family, a group of languages that share a common ancestor. The Indo-European languages include languages such as Latin, Greek, Sanskrit, Persian, German, French, Spanish, and many others. The English language belongs to the Germanic branch of the Indo-European family, which means that it is more closely related to languages such as German, Dutch, Swedish, and Norwegian. The Germanic languages originated from a proto-language, or a hypothetical ancestral language, that was spoken by a group of people who lived in Northern Europe around 500 BC. These people are known as the Proto-Germanic speakers, and they are the ancestors of the modern Germanic peoples. The Proto-Germanic language had a complex grammar system, with four cases, three genders, two numbers, and six verb tenses. It also had a rich vocabulary, with words for various aspects of life, such as animals, plants, tools, weapons, family, religion, and warfare. The Proto-Germanic language is not attested in any written records, but it can be reconstructed by comparing the modern Germanic languages and using linguistic methods. Now, let's see some differences between British and American English. Vocabulary. There are many words that have different meanings or spellings in British and American English. For example, a biscuit in British English is a cookie in American English, and a cookie in British English is a soft cake in American English. A lift in British English is an elevator in American English, and a boot in British English is a trunk in American English. Spelling. There are some general rules for spelling differences between British and American English. For instance, British English tends to use our, re, s, and i's endings, while American English tends to use or, er, say, and i's endings. For example, color, center, defense. And organize in British English are color, center, defense, and organize in American English. Pronunciation There are also some noticeable differences in the way British and American English speakers pronounce certain words. For example, British English speakers tend to drop the R sound after a vowel while American English speakers tend to pronounce it. This is why words like car, water, and mother sound different in the two varieties. Another difference is the way British and American English speakers pronounce the T sound in the middle of words. British English speakers tend to pronounce it clearly while American English speakers tend to flap it or make it sound like a D. This is why words like city, butter, and water sound different in the two varieties. Grammar There are also some minor differences in the way British and American English speakers use grammar. For example, British English speakers tend to use the present perfect tense more often than American English speakers, who prefer the simple past tense. For example, a British English speaker might say I've just had breakfast, while an American English speaker might say I just had breakfast. Another difference is the way British and American English speakers use the words shall and will. 
British English speakers tend to use shall more often than American English speakers, who prefer will. For example, a British English speaker might say shall we go to the cinema? While an American English speaker might say will we go to the movies? These are some of the main differences between British and American English, but there are also many similarities and variations within each variety. The best way to learn the differences and similarities is to expose yourself to both forms of English and to communicate with native speakers. I hope you found this answer helpful and informative. Improving your listening skills in English is a great way to enhance your overall language proficiency and communication abilities. There are many tips and strategies that you can use to improve your listening skills, depending on your level, goals, and preferences. Here are some of the most common and effective ones. Listen to a variety of English sources such as podcasts, radio, news, songs, movies, TV shows, audiobooks, etc. This will expose you to different topics, accents, styles, and levels of English, and help you to expand your vocabulary and comprehension. Listen to English regularly and consistently. Try to set aside some time every day to listen to something in English, even if it's just for a few minutes. The more you listen, the more you will get used to the sounds and rhythms of the language, and the more confident you will become. You can also listen to English while doing other activities, such as cooking, cleaning, exercising, etc. Listen to English actively and attentively. Don't just listen passively, but try to engage with what you hear. You can do this by repeating the words or sentences that you hear, summarizing the main points, answering questions, taking notes, or writing a review. You can also use online tools or apps that have interactive listening exercises. Listen to English with a purpose and a goal. Before you listen to something, think about why you are listening and what you want to achieve. For example, you might want to listen for the main idea, the details, the opinions, the emotions, the vocabulary, the grammar, etc. This will help you to focus your attention and improve your listening skills. You can also set yourself some specific and realistic goals, such as listening to a certain number of podcasts per week, or understanding a certain percentage of a movie. Listen to English with and without subtitles or transcripts. Subtitles and transcripts can be very helpful to check your understanding and learn new words but they can also make you rely too much on reading rather than listening. Try to listen to English without subtitles or transcripts first, and then use them to review or clarify what you heard. You can also use subtitles or transcripts in English rather than in your native language, to improve your reading and listening skills at the same time. Listen to English multiple times and in different ways. Don't be discouraged if you don't understand everything the first time you listen to something. You can always listen to it again and again, and each time you will notice something new or different. You can also listen to the same content in different ways, such as from the beginning to the end, from the end to the beginning from the middle to the end, etc. This will help you to improve your memory and retention of the information. Listen to English with an open mind and a positive attitude. Don't be afraid to make mistakes or to ask for help.
Listening to English can be challenging, but it can also be fun and rewarding. Try to enjoy the process and celebrate your progress. Remember that listening to English is not only a skill, but also a way to learn new things, discover new cultures, and connect with new people. Improving your speaking skills in English is a great way to enhance your overall language proficiency and communication abilities. There are many tips and strategies that you can use to improve your speaking skills, depending on your level, goals, and preferences. Here are some of the most common and effective ones. Speak English to practice and improve. Speaking a language is a skill, like driving a car, playing a musical instrument or learning to swim. To be a good speaker, you need to practice speaking. You can read books or articles about English, study grammar and vocabulary, but nothing is as good for your speaking as using it. So, try to find opportunities to speak English with people you meet or look for online platforms or apps that connect you with other English learners or native speakers. The more you speak, the more confident and fluent you will become. Stay in your zone of genius. Your zone of genius is the mental space where your skills and interests converge. It includes the subjects, facts, and stories you know the most about. These things are easy for you to talk about with others because you are knowledgeable and passionate about them. Avoid talking about topics you are not familiar with, or pretending to be an expert in something you are not. This will make you sound more credible and confident when you speak. If you don't know something, don't be afraid to say so, or ask questions to learn more. Read books or articles out loud. Reading is one of the most underrated tools for becoming a great speaker. It can make you sound more articulate and smooth in your speech. When you read out loud, you practice your pronunciation, intonation, stress, and rhythm. You also expose yourself to new words and expressions and learn how to use them in context. You can choose any material that interests you, such as novels, news, blogs, or magazines. You can also use online tools or apps that have audio recordings or transcripts of the texts, so you can listen and compare your pronunciation with the native speakers. Record yourself speaking. Listening to a recording of your own voice can feel strange, but it can be a powerful tool for improvement. The big thing it helps is confidence. You may notice that you speak English better than you thought. Another thing is pronunciation, or just feeling the words in your mouth. Speaking a foreign language is a physical workout for your mouth, and you want to get in the gym. You are also practicing fluency. Next time you have to talk about that same topic, the ideas and words will flow more easily. By recording yourself, you can also notice and correct your mistakes, and improve your accuracy. These are some of the main tips to improve your speaking skills in English, but there are also many other resources and methods that you can use. I hope you found this answer helpful and informative. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new about the English language. Now it's time to end this session and return to your normal life. I'm going to guide you out of the state of hypnosis and relaxation and bring you back to full awareness and alertness. Follow me carefully and let yourself be guided by my voice. First of all, take a deep breath and exhale slowly. 
Feel the air that fills your lungs and leaves your body. Notice how your body feels relaxed and comfortable. Now, I want you to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Feel the movement and the sensation in your extremities. Then, move your ankles and your wrists. Feel the blood circulation and the energy in your limbs. Next, stretch your legs and your arms. Feel the muscles and the joints in your body. Then, roll your shoulders and your neck. Feel the tension and the stiffness in your upper body. Finally, open your eyes and look around. See the light and the colors in your environment. You are now fully awake and alert. You have successfully completed the hypnosis and relaxation session and you are ready to resume your normal activities. You can feel proud of yourself for taking this time to improve your English skills and your well-being. You can also feel confident and motivated to continue your English learning journey. Remember that you can always come back to this session whenever you need to relax and practice your English. Thank you for your attention and cooperation. I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.